let's say you're away from your laptop and you don't have actually time to go ahead and capture files, go to your lab appliance and take OSPF packet uh, capture and do all that stuff. So what do you do in that case? Well, you just simply go to Google and type in this cloud shark and then whichever packet capture you want. So you can say, let's say SSL, right? Because I'm going to talk about SSL after this. All right, so CloudShark SSL, and that's it, the very first link. You click on it, and it'll give you a packet capture for SSL. Great, isn't it? Now, you can also download this file. That's also another great feature about it. So you can go to this website and get a ready-made packet capture from there. Now, another thing that I wanted to, so before I jump onto the second thing, uh, first things first, uh, you can, you can, you know, uh, fetch packet captures for SSL, uh, DNS, DHCP, OSPF, and all sorts of stuff. Not everything, but a lot of stuff, right? So I can go ahead and download this file as well. Well, you, for that, you'll have to click on this export button and you'll have a download option right there. Or if you want to examine the packets, you can examine them right here. For example, I click on packet number one. You see it has the same thing, the packet timeline and then the details of the packets. And then you have the, pa the byte section as well on this side, right? So I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and export and download the file. I'm going to click on that. Download the original file, download file. All right, the second part of, of the uh, video now where I wanted to show you how to go ahead and download the certificate from uh, the Wireshark. How do you do that? How to download certificates? Let me just show it to you. All right, so I just clicked on it and it's about to complete. Come on, come on, come on. Go for it. Okay. Okay, we know it's it's about SSL TLS, right? So we have a sense and ACK. ACK. Uh, let me just highlight these packets as well. So first the handshake, TCP handshake, SYN, SYN, ACK, and then ACK, the third one, right? So here you can see it says SYN, SYN, ACK, and then ACK. And then you have the client, uh, hello, right? Okay, so far so good. And then the server acknowledges the client hello, but it doesn't stop there. The server also sends these three things the server hello certificate and the server hello done, right? And I am interested in this particular part. Okay, let's check it out. Let's click on this packet, packet number six. And I click on it. I go to this particular part right here. This is the section and this particular one is the one I'm interested in, TLS. Okay, let me just go ahead and click on it. And the second one in there, which talks about certificate, right? And let me just expand that. Handshake, handshake protocol is a certificate. And this is the handshake type, which is 11. Okay, that's good. Expand certificates. And then you have this part right here, which says certificate and some weird stuff in here. What do you do? Just right click on it. You go to export uh, packet bytes, click on it. And then say, you wanna save it on desktop and mention, you know, what do you want to save it as? I want to save it as, as, I want to save it as test SSL dot CRT, because this is going to be my certificate, right? That I just downloaded. Now, now, let me just go ahead and show you the certificate. I just double click on it, and this is the information I get. This CA root certificate is not trusted to enable trials, blah, 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 blah. Issued by CloudShark, right? And then you have CloudShark, this, this, this. You can get the details of your certificate from here. Serial number, signature, algorithm, issuer, is this valid from, valid to. You get all the information. And the certification, uh, the certification path is also here. This uh, CA root certificate is not trusted because it's not in the trusted root certificate uh, authority store. Well, obviously. Okay. Well, that's how you go ahead and download a certificate or export a certificate from uh, the Wireshark. As easy as that. I hope uh, that was helpful. And uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much. You guys have a great day ahead. Goodbye.